Pardon? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. Yes, a good question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the guest has dropped into the music hall, and uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Sheila Bradley if she would kindly interview this guest somebody I'm sure you'll all enjoy. So, would you welcome back with a little unexpected interview, uh, Sheila Bradley? Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to be the leading contender for the heavyweight championship of the world. Here he is, the Italian gelding, Mr. Rocky Featherboa. Give him a hand. you had? Hundred. And how many have you lost? Hundred. <laughs> how do you account for that? Oh, you can't lick them all. What's the first thing you think of when you get into the ring? How to get out again. <laughs> and, and what is your trickiest punch? My right hook. Why is it so tricky? I use my left hand. <laughs> um, I don't see any marks on your face. I've had my nose fixed. Did they straighten it? No, I put it back between my eyes. <laughs> Tell me, Rocky, why do you wear a mouth guard? Because I don't have time to rush between meals. Oh, well, I'd like to change the line of questioning, if I may, Rocky. Tell me, who taught you how to fight? Oh, that's a dicky one. Let me see. Lana Rose, Johnny Famishon, Sugar Ray Robinson, Mike Tyson, Danny LaRue. Well, what did you learn from Danny LaRue? A lot more than I learned from Lana Rose and Sugar Ray. <laughs> Besides, I come from a long line of boxes. Do you really? Yeah, well, except for my father. And what's your father? A cop spaniel. And your, your grandfather, was he a boxer? Oh, yes, you know, he's 91 and he's still fighting. Is he really? Yeah, he works out on the bag every day. Good Lord. Real decent grandma, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Now, last week you fought Jeff Bennett. Oh, you're not wrong. Tell me, did he hurt you at any time? Only when he batted me about the ring. Oh. <laughs> uh, did anything memorable happen throughout the fight? Isn't that enough? <laughs> uh, I walked into the arena, I stepped into the ring, I flew off my cape and the crowd stood to its feet and cheered. Were they proud of you? No, I'd forgotten to put my shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the first round, my manager said, you got him worried, Rock. That you'd beat him? No, that he killed me. <laughs> then at the end of the third round, I went down. <laughs> that was Maggie Gray. <laughs> she knows all about it. She does. <laughs> my manager said, get up and sit down. <laughs> what, what did you say? What time is it now? <laughs> most in your memory? Oh, that's easy. Last week with my friend, the Greek Waterway Champion. Oh, what's his name? Sugar Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep the poodle. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a new friend. A new friend, I yeah. see. He's a big parachutist. <laughs> what's his name? Con. Con who? Descending. Oh. <laughs> He's got a nickname for me. Oh, really? Yes. What is it? He calls me the washing machine. Why does he call you the washing machine? I have no idea what no, he <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to fight Joe Bugner? Pardon? <laughs> Are you going to fight Joe Bugner? I never knew there was an any there before. <laughs> oh, give enough chance to well. I see. Um, um, what would your prediction be for the night of the fight? Scattered showers and thunderstorms. I mean the outcome of the fight. Oh, early not there. How early? I'm going to eat him in the dressing room with my handbag. Oh. That's the hardest part about being a boxer. What is? Finding a bag to match your gloves. <laughs> I see. Tell me, do you have a sparring partner? Yes, my brother, actually. Your brother? Does he ever get hurt? Well, last month I beat him up so bad he was off kindergarten for a whole week. Oh, dear. <laughs> Tell me, what did your manager say to you after each fight? Well, at the end of my last fight, he said, the bell's gone, 
<laughs> and? I said, I didn't take it. <laughs> he said, look, Rocky, you've got to consecrate. You've got to win your next fight because it's a big purse. Oh, really? How big was the purse? About that big black glamour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change my manager. Why are you going to change your manager? Because I don't like the way this one handles me. <laughs> but I've not been well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I've been under the doctor. Oh, why have you been under the doctor? Because I can't sleep nights. Well, why can't you sleep nights? Because I've been under, under the doctor. <laughs> And he told me to drink a bottle of warm milk before I go to bed and I'd sleep like a baby. And did you? Yes, I went to bed. <laughs> and he gave me all these pills. What sort of pills? He gave me some pills to make me strong. Oh, really? Did they work? I don't know. I can't get the lid off the bottle. <laughs> and then he gave me some male contradictive pills. <laughs> don't you mean contraceptive? Don't contraceptive me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he gave me these contradictive pills. They're happy. Happy? <laughs> My goodness me, what are you going to do with them? What do you do with them? You put them in your shoe. Why do you put them in your shoe? Because they make you limp. <laughs> then, in case they work too well, yes. you gave me some virility pills. Virility, virility pills. You've got to swat it in really quick. Why is that? Otherwise you get a stiff neck. <laughs> What do you do after each fight? <laughs> I kiss him, I can't. I thought you might. Would you please thank Rocky Pedabella for being with us this